Milton got Williams Millionaire. You know, this came out in 1986, and at the same time, Gottlieb came out with Monte Carlo. They both had the wheel, they were both casino themed. And you know, everybody sort of wondered, obviously, somebody was listening to this at the, at the boardroom door when they were concocting ideas. And said, guess what they're making? A casino game. We should make one too. But I guess we'll never know who listened on, in on whose meeting, but sure enough, two different games came out at the same time, and both, both games actually have their pluses and minuses. Uh, look at the beautiful job Jason did with this one, though. Uh, we actually have pretty much almost perfect plastics. Uh, we have, uh, oh, you know what? This is a good time. Let's cut over right now and show you us working on the game. Here's a view of the Millionaire without any of the plastics on it. We haven't changed the broken targets yet, but you can see that Jason's been careful color coordinating the LEDs, and we have the cliffy um, orange um, uh, sleeves all over the place here. It's coming along really nice. So Stephen's going to have to do a little magic right here. So there's a before shot. But this machine is in generally great shape. The artwork on the sides is really nice. We still have to do lots more to it. Now what a difference that was, huh? You can kind of see what it looks like with everything off the machine. And uh, uh, Chris took the uh, wheel out and we cleaned all the switches. That's all been serviced. See how bright and shiny that was? It looks a lot different than when we started. And uh, this whole machine has been LED'd. Everything from top to bottom. I was gonna... Who put this thing up so high? What do you, you do. think, I'm Goliath? Anyway, good, that's better. Anyway. Back here, isn't that a neat effect? This foil shines through this back glass because you see all around the letters and around the diamonds and there are cutouts in the uh, Mylar back space, and it's pretty sharp. So consequently, when you move left and right, as you'll see in a second, it reflects the colors just beautifully. Uh, this was one, the, the, actually the only game that Williams put five glasses in, one, two, three, four, five. All their other games at the time just had two glasses, or four glasses, not two, four. <laughs> four. Uh, other games had more displays, but they had four panel here, uh, like you're going to see later, a riverboat game that had, had two extras over here and over here, a taxi had one extra, but this is the only time they used five, but some F-14 Tomcats Big have game. the five board display in it, the five display in it, this real giant display, but there's nothing down here, there's no fifth display, and there are no light bulbs. So this part on the F-14 Tomcat displays are not populated. But see, it's a different bracket. So if you have an F-14 Tomcat with a big display, you can only replace it with something that size. Uh, notice there's light bulb sockets here that run game over. Gosh, I don't know. What, I can't even tell what that other one is. What's that other one, Frank? Match, maybe? Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, we've done our usual in the back here lithium battery, all new solder uh, edges here on all these connectors. All the boards were taken out. We rebuilt the high voltage with um, new resistors, new capacitors, the 5 volt circuits with 5 new capacitors. Um, all been serviced, a new connector. Of course this connector will never burn out again simply because these are all low voltage with the LEDs. So this game is good to go for many, many years. Um, we've rebuilt the three flippers, all new parts. Um, let's see, what there. gosh, uh, well, of course the rubbers. We've done a lot of, oh, captain. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. Cabinet artwork is very, very nice. Stephen did just some touch up on it. Got the blue matched, the gray, and the yellow matched perfectly. Um, I think we have another video of somebody actually playing it. But look here, there's a little motor. And then once you get the hang where it's pointing, 
so you can shoot the ball up. The idea is that the ball go up this channel and knock the targets down. So it is pretty much a good skill shot. Oh, oh, there we go. And I don't have the skill. Now, see the side gates here? This gate's open. I want you to go down that, and then it slaps shut. Bang! That, that, that closing door sounds like my wife slamming the door on me. Okay, yeah. so anyway, we go up here, we go here in the lock hole. Keeps it there for a second, shoots over here, now we got our second ball. This is just two ball multi ball. Let's see, now I already know it's not all the way back, and it's not all the way front, so it's about here. There we go, look at that. Very nice, and of course, if you roll, now this gate's open, both gates are actually open, but they only, they're only time for a few seconds. You go into the spin, it turns off all the GI, and it spins our center targets. So in this case, I got, what did I get? 5,000. Yeah, it's a little hard to read. Remember, I'm reading it sideways, and I have my short eyeballs on today. Okay, anyway. Uh, Frank, oh, you know what, I'll show the multi-ball. The multi-ball is a very neat show. Let me throw the ball up here. Good. Isn't that sharp? Oh, my God. Now watch. Pulse these out, and then that one. And then we are going strong. Anyway. Oh, lastly, this is nicely mirrored. Very bright and shiny. This particular machine is still in great shape. This one came out of a home and they bought it. Uh, we're gonna guess they bought it 15, 16 years ago and had it in their house for all those years. Uh, so it, we think it's had very little use. The uh, front is a good way to tell because there are no holes that were drilled for the um, lockdown or for the uh, bar that go across the front. So uh, I think our customer's gonna be very happy. Having a private party here at TNT Amusements in our maze-like showrooms. Did you know that we have well over 60 games on free play? And your guests get unlimited playtime in our action showroom. Collection. Plus, we're always changing games in the showroom, so there's always different games to play. And one of our party hostesses will run your entire party for you, making it real easy for you. I'd like you to meet my lovely wife, Pam. You know, folks, Pam and I were happy for almost 25 years, and then we met. Ha ha ha! 25 years, eh? It's not even my joke, it's Rodney Dangerfield. Hmm. But it's banana cream. Hmm? Look, your very own private party room. And we even show a classic car too while they're eating their food. We'll make your party a smash hit. We're in the yellow pages under amusement. Hope you enjoyed our show tonight, folks. And we have a little bit of time left over, so let's run some bloopers. Sure. I forgot to zoom, so let's go back and do it one more time. Your guests get unlimited play in our air-conditioned showrooms. Go ahead. And your guests. Guests. Ah, living is good, isn't it, folks? That's all for now. Good night.